Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Um, it is January 29th, 2017. I'm actually having to record this on my phone because for some reason videos are disappearing on my computer so I can't find them. Um, I tried to make a video twice in the past few weeks, haven't been able to, so I hope this will suffice and I will keep it. Um, I've not ever recorded on my phone. I think I have once but never on this phone so forgive me if it doesn't come clear. Um, I am currently 20 weeks pregnant. Um, pregnancy is hard. Um, I am never doing this again. <laughs> this is one kid and that's it. Um, so there's a lot to update since on the pregnancy since I last commented. So 20 weeks pregnant. Um, this is my third pregnancy and first viable child, hopefully. Hopefully he stays put. Uh, it is a boy. Um, we were absolutely certain that it was a girl like we didn't even imagine that it was boy. we didn't have a boy name we wouldn't let other people talk about boys and then we had genetic testing done around 13 weeks because I'm 38 years old and I had the gastric bypass and I'm bipolar and so I'm high risk when you're high risk they allow you to have genetic testing done they actually encourage you to have genetic testing done so we had the genetic testing done Thankfully, he's healthy, he's growing. He's actually like two weeks ahead of schedule and he has remained two weeks ahead of schedule for the past few weeks. So I don't know if that just means like he's gonna be a big boy and I may have to get ready for a C-section because <laughs> I've already told Noah, like if this kid's head is seriously two weeks ahead of schedule and I go full term, we are doing a C-section. <laughs> um, but he's healthy, um, no abnormalities. A few weeks later, I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago, we had the neural tube testing done, uh, which is where they look for um, abnormalities in the spine, and he was healthy there too. But during the genetic testing, when they called to give you your results, which took us about two weeks, we did the maternity, um, what is it, maternity 21 or something like that. Um, but when they give you those, you have the option of knowing the gender. And they told us it was a boy, and I'm going to be honest with you. I was extremely sad and disappointed and angry and I immediately did not feel connected to this kid. Um, I was, I didn't realize it at the time, but after I told Noah and he had similar feelings, he kind of told me like we're mourning the loss of the little girl that we feel was taken away from us, even though she never really existed. To us, she did. And now we have this boy. So it took us a whole day and a whole lot of talking and a whole lot of reasoning but we eventually came up with a name, so his name will be Cole. It's um, spelled differently than normal, Cole. Um, but then my maiden name will be the baby's middle name, and then Noah's last name will be our last name. Um, I'm getting married on March 24th. Um, Noah and I have known each other for 22 years, on and off, back and forth, ups and downs, um, but there really is nobody else in the world that I would rather be with, and he has been absolutely amazing during this pregnancy so supportive and so encouraging he's come to every doctor's appointment um, I have to get progesterone shots um, some people call them McKenna shots or McKenna shots it depends on how you pronounce it um, I've been getting those for about four weeks now they hurt like hell when you get them um, they burn really bad and the injection site hurts for weeks they have to alternate injection sites because I'm telling you it hurts um, there's like some side effects but really it's just the irritability of the injection site but he comes to all those holds my hand um, he helps with stuff around the house I'm, I can't lift anything heavy my niece who's nine she won't let me lift anything heavy she talks to Cole all the time um, I turn a new week every Saturday and my niece spends the night every Friday night. So every night, every Friday night at midnight, when it turns Saturday, she wants to go on the apps on my phone and see how big Cole is and what development he has this week. And it is incredibly sweet. Um, I really couldn't ask for more support than what I have. Um, so yeah, 20 weeks pregnant, it's a boy. Um, I went through a whole period of time where the fatigue has been amazingly extreme um i really don't feel like doing anything but sleeping i come home take my makeup off and i'm in my pajamas for the rest of the day so i really just work and stay home 
I don't have the energy to do anything else. I, I used to clean my house every single week. Um, I used to take a shower every day. That stuff does not happen anymore because I just don't have the energy. Um, eating was a big challenge for a long time. I never had morning sickness, but I would get very nauseous. Thankfully, mints, um, peppermints helped amazing with those, with that, I should say. Um, I did go through a period where a time where I just didn't feel like eating and I lost the first trimester I lost 11 pounds. Um, I am now back to the same weight that I was when I got pregnant. So I haven't gained any weight. Um, I gained back everything I lost, but I'm still the same weight I was the day that I got pregnant. So, um, they say that's common when you have gastric bypass that you might not gain a whole lot of weight. They really don't want me to gain more than 15 or 20 pounds. They don't think it's really possible for me to gain more than that um, because I can't eat much at one sitting um, and I can't eat a lot of food throughout the day. So I'm having to eat like every two to three hours. Um, my appetite came back as of last week, but there was probably about six to eight weeks where I just didn't feel like eating like anything. Like I really had to force myself to eat a thousand calories a day. I just couldn't eat. Um, but as long as he is growing, they aren't too concerned about it. And like I said, he's measuring two weeks ahead um, with pretty much everything. He's in the 90 percentile plus for his bones and his head length or head circumference and uh, bone length and weight. Uh, he is, his weight at 20 weeks is supposed to be about uh, roughly 9 ounces, 8.5 ounces, 9 ounces, and he's 12. So uh, he's a healthy boy. And that's really all I care about. Um, I've been feeling him move since hmm, probably about 17 weeks is when I started getting quickening, like the little flutters here and there. Now I actually feel like kicks, um, which is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> um, pregnancy sucked, honestly. Um, but when every time I feel him kick, it's totally worth it. Um, and Noah can actually feel him kicking now, too, which is the coolest thing. Um, he's most active at night, which is normal during pregnancy. Um, every once in a while during the day, he'll realize that he has some room in there and he can kind of move around. And I feel him moving around and I just kind of rub my stomach back. And I kind of want him to know, like every time he kicks, I try to rub my stomach just so he knows that I'm here. Because hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to do some kind of like... Uh, behavior modification manipulation stuff so that when he's born and he starts getting finicky and restless I can just rub his back and he'll be fine um, or he'll be comforted at least um, let's see what else um, yeah so I've just I haven't had morning sickness but I just haven't felt well um, I've had a lot of stomach upset um, I have thrown up a few times, but it's not morning sickness. It's I've eaten too much at one time, and it won't digest. And if you think about it, we can't really eat a whole lot at one time anyway, and we have to be careful with what we do eat because things can still get stuck. On top of that, the baby is pushing up. So my uterus is going up and squishing all my organs, and I already can't eat a lot. My stomach is already pretty much done. You know, it's, We don't even use our stomach for anything that is storage tank. But with everything being compacted, you can imagine that not a lot of food fits in. Um, sorry, I'm trying to... I don't, I don't know if I like recording this on the phone. Anyway, i got to hurry up. Um, so it's just been really miserable. I haven't felt good most of the time. I've missed a lot of work because I haven't felt well. This is a new job. Um, the day I started my job was the day I conceived... <laughs> Um, so I have been pregnant every single day at this new job and they have been really, really good with giving me time off. They give me every Wednesday off for my doctor's appointments because I see I have an ultrasound every single week and I have had an ultrasound every single week since I've been about eight weeks. Um, they measure, because I lost my last pregnancy at 18 weeks, they um, measure my cervix length at every appointment just to make sure that I'm not at risk for another preterm birth which is why I get the McKenna shots to prevent preterm birth. Um, I'm still on my metformin for my PCOS, which also helps prevent preterm birth. 
um, still taking my prenatal vitamins. I am still on my medication for my bipolar. Um, I take Lamictal for that. Um, I do not take anything for sleep anymore, but I don't need to because I'm so tired all the time. Um, I don't know. I just haven't really felt well. Um, but like I said, every time I feel them kick, it's a little bit better. Um, things are really stressful financially. Um, we're really not making it. Um, and I really hate getting help from family, even though I'm very grateful. Sorry. I've got to stop moving because it's shaking the camera. I'm very grateful for the help that family gives me, but I also hate the fact that I'm 38 and he's 42 and we shouldn't have to accept help from other people. We're, we're the parents. We have to take care of our own son and it's, um, Things are very stressful right now, and it seems like every day, the universe comes with another punch. And um, my depression has been really, really bad. And I don't know if it's because of the winter, which it's always worse in the winter, but I think the winter combined with pregnancy hormones, um, it's just been bad. I increased my Lamectal by 25 milligrams, um, and I see my psychiatrist tomorrow because, because of my bipolar, I'm at higher risk of... Uh, postpartum depression um, so I want to meet with him and kind of discuss a plan of action in case and when that happens because I don't want that to happen so I'm still due June 16th um, like I said now I'm getting married in March baby showers in April it's a co-ed baby shower well co-ed baby celebration it's like cold celebration um, because it is going to be co-ed um, huh I think that's about it so I just wanted to update real quick um, I hope you guys are all doing well I appreciate you watching the videos if you have any questions maybe there's a lot of stuff I haven't covered probably but if you have any questions please feel free to ask um, like, I, like I said I respond to every comment um, and I will do my best um, I don't really think you can see a baby bump yet um, well you can kind of see it I just look fat uh, <laughs> I just look fat, really. But, so you can really see there. But, uh, I'm growing. And it's weird because, uh, my belly button, when they did the tummy tuck, they move it. And so it never really looked like a normal belly button to begin with, ever since my uh, tummy tuck. And now it's, like, even weirder <laughs> because now it's bulging out and it's not really my belly button so it's we I don't know it's just weird um anyway so if you have any questions feel free to ask um well I think that's it I will talk to you soon um stay warm and stay safe and thanks for watching bye